What's your goal for your music? I got two. Okay. Number one is to help others. It's always been that. I realized that when people pick up a microphone, they have a certain amount of power. And when people listen, they they letting you they letting you control them. Music controls you subconsciously. There's a wave, there's a frequency. Like I don't wanna be all Oh, it's gotta be in the but like it's real. It's it's not anything that's fake. You have to have the right frequency to like get to people's mind and to break open like their heart and the barriers that people see that might be setting them back. Um but double one is just to help people and I guess like one A would just be like to see differently. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like we all grow up and we start seeing like this and we forget that the world is really like this. Right. So I want to broaden people's horizon. And number two is just so niggas can eat. Like I know that we live in America and it's a lot of shit that goes on here. But the thing that makes this a great place is how much money you can make here. And how much, sure. like, I don't mean that in no sense of greed. I mean real life. Opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, opportunity and chances to, like, make yourself. Like, niggas like Nipsey, niggas like Ryan Leslie, niggas like Jay-Z, niggas like Dame Dash. These niggas gave us the blueprint on how to real life do this shit by yourself. And niggas was capping on the way they was doing shit. Now look at niggas like Jay-Z trying to buy teams and shit. Come on, bro. Yeah, it's man, it's bro. levels to the wealth. And people have to understand that we're in a system that, like, basically doesn't want to see us make it. So for me, right. it was just being able to help people, but also being able to show people that way. Like, yo, if you do what you love, bro, this shit ain't like work. <laughs> I get to wake up every day, y'all, like, and do what the fuck I love. My niggas hit my phone and be like, yo, is we making beats and smoking weed today? Greatest life ever. Like... Who want, you know what I'm like why do you want to do anything else? It's is is nothing it's nothing here for real. That's that's what I feel. If you feel like it's something here and out here and for you, <coughs> great, live it. D live your truth. But for me personally, it ain't shit here. It ain't nothing going on. Why not make it like a slap so we can have a good time while we're being shitted on? Right. Uh what artists are you working with or do you work with? Okay. Let me actually go to my iTunes so I can just go ahead and plug everybody right quick. Alright, so I got my man Ace in here, uh, B.O., my man Lee, uh, my cousin Big DZ, Blue Stripe in this joint, my man EJ Margella, um, my boy Jacob, my Atlanta artist Genesee, uh, me of course, me and B.O. got a tape on the way, it's called Zobot, coming soon, plug the shit. Um, <laughs> My boy Keto got a song in here with me and B.O. called Vert. Um, let me see, who else in here? My boy Los, Low Key, just dropped highs and lows. That's also on fucking everywhere, so bitch, go give me a check. We, we gonna put the link in the bottom, don't worry about it. Um, let me see, my brother Mouty Mouse, my bad, IJ, Naoki, Apple and Lucy, Lot of God, Raider Shooter, and of course Real Live Band in here. My boy Ren Stats and Cali, we got some shit on the way. Sino, Shao Calhoun, uh, Solo, my boy Somebody. Uh, rest in peace to my brother Subversive. I'm actually just scrolling this. I see his shit. Um, Sumo, my boy Sweet, Trippy T. My boy who did the, um, the OnlyFans video, huh? The dude who did the Only... The dude who did the OnlyFans video, uh, my boy Tyler, he got some music in here. We got some shit coming. My twin, Wanza, um, <coughs> Sino just walked in the room. We got some shit, too. And, um, my boy, Young Lotus. And that's just like everybody who I got just like on my iTunes. But it's a few other people that I'm working with um, internationally and shit like that. Um, I've done a song with uh, this artist from the United Kingdom named Jay Cherie. That's on my second mixtape. Um, let me see. I got a vocal coach that lives in Canada that I'm going to do some music with. Um, shout out to her. She just had a baby. Um, shout out to Lil Zoe. Um, yeah, there's there's like a lot of people. I like to I like to just keep it eclectic because I feel like once you put yourself in that box, you know, you kind of limit your sound. And I don't, I don't feel like sound is limited. Right. So.